I think one of the situations you have in an urban setting is uh, has a lot to do with the population base and how dense it is and the traffic and there's always so much going on and you might not have that opportunity to dispose of dispose of that cigarette butt. You know, litter unfortunately in general is a negative and by all means it brings down economic value for, for areas. No one wants to live in a littered area. People and it's people are more apt to litter in an area when it's already littered. In, in San Diego, and I know in a lot of other cities, a lot of other states, cigarette butts are the number one thing we always find at our cleanup events. I don't think smokers intentionally, as a rule, toss down their cigarette waste. It's just a habit. So you have to just let them know, oh, cigarette waste is litter, and we have a place to put that. It's not a hard sell. Once they understand that this is litter too, the majority of them will change their behavior. The Cigarette Litter Prevention Program is a partnership in a local community between various stakeholders. For instance, if you're on a main street, you're going to bring your businesses, your economic development folks to the table. I believe that's one of the greatest opportunities when it comes in an urban setting. It is those partnerships of those private entities, those businesses, working with the city folks. It starts with getting the facts finding out what the cigarette litter rates are in your community. First scan is actually going to count cigarette butts. It's pretty intuitive. We want to find the hot spots, the intersections, where folks are coming in and out of an entryway. And then you implement the program through both public education and infrastructure. Actually putting receptacles at that crossing point or that entryway. We do lots of education outreach, talking to people, giving them pocket ashtrays, putting up posters doing news articles and TV spots, whatever we, we can do to raise awareness about the fact that cigarette uh, waste is litter. And we go back to the same location six weeks later and count again, count everything on the ground, pick it up, and then we have visible results. We can see that we have made a difference because the cigarette litter numbers almost always go down, way down. So um, it is, it's a fairly easy program to implement. You just have to have the right partners on the ground. Cigarette litter and litter in general is, is a long-term issue. You know, that's how Keep America Beautiful and Keep Virginia Beautiful were founded. This work has been very positive for our organization because it's almost been a gateway and it's grown to now we're um, being heard on other litter and how all litter is bad for our community. We believe that cleaning up um, our communities, making them clean and beautiful, are the building blocks for community investment, community and economic development. And we need folks to own their community. And so we really do feel that um, the Cigarette Litter Prevention Program is one program in the toolbox that enables us to build clean and beautiful communities, which in turn turns them into vibrant communities where we all thrive. You have a chance to make a difference. We're like change agents. We go out there and work with the community to change behaviors and attitudes and, and result in cleaner communities. And I just love doing that. I love working with the people and I love working with Keep America Beautiful.